I want to make this video to a very popular blogger, uh, Dickin Famous. Uh, I just watched your video and um, you were talking about Abel Damina and uh, quite frankly, without being biased, I watched the video and my conclusions were that you, are, you had a predisposition with that video. You've already made up your mind about men of God and those who don't conform to a certain spiritual standard, you term them as not men of God. Because in that video you said you do not take a liking into a man of God accepting to be in a podcast and that Abel Damina is actually envious of one Jerry Eze or something like that. Those two particular points were the, were the points that drove me to watch the podcast. And it took me about two hours or more to watch that podcast diligently. And I must tell you that I enjoyed every single minute. Every single minute. Every single minute, yeah. If I loved Abel Damina before, I can tell you that I love him more. That man is God sent. That man is God sent. That man is God sent. Because, and I like the, the, the honest bunch. They didn't hold back any punch. They threw every point. Even me, at one point in time, I was like, eh? What do you mean? Just as the the bunch there also were as startled as I was. You see, let me tell you something about this spirituality thing. When you are lost in the labyrinth of a cognitiveness that suggests you can't pull yourself out to embrace a new truth, you, you yourself, you find yourself fighting any new revelation that comes because you are comfortable in a cognitiveness that you are used to. Otherwise, what we refer to as cognitive dissonance. You see, Abel Damina may not be entirely right. He's not perfect. He's just a human being. But you see, if you delve out of realism and confine yourself into a spirituality that prohibits you from embracing realism, that is where you become vulnerable to the antics of these transactionary pastors that are out for just your money. Trust me when I tell you that I diligently, with an open mind, to watch that podcast. In one of your arguments, you said, a man of God who avails himself to a podcast is, is, is a red flag to you. And I'm like, what? I was watching that podcast. 20,000 people were watching that thing live. As at the time I was watching, 20,000 were watching live. And I'm sure that by tomorrow ending, by the end of tomorrow, that thing would have reached 500 that will rewatch it. I watched that thing from the beginning to the end. As at the time I I, 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 I opted out from watching that video. There were 20 people, 20,000 people watching live. And I'm sure those, a, 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 a reasonable percentage of those would want to watch or catch Abel Damina in a lie or in an obscure sense. So, Deacon Famous, you, you are one person i love so much i respect your intelligence most of your videos are spot on most of your video come from a place of wisdom of a place of intelligence but in this instance i think you are biased you, forgive me i don't intend to offend anybody i don't like taking people on on social media but you are biased you've already made a predisposition about abel damina now abel damina coming to a podcast if you have a message, it doesn't matter what platform, so long as so long as people are reached, 
Who says those who will be in the platform of the honest bunch don't need the message or don't need the truth? I can tell you that Abel Damina, well, I don't want to also sound biased as I feel you are, but I watch that man. That man is filled with wisdom. Truly, God is using that man. Like I said earlier, that man is God sent. You see, if you claim to have a calling of God, for me, I don't worship church. I don't worship denomination. I attend Living Faith Church. That does not mean I cannot open my mind to another teaching that comes from another church. I don't you 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 claim not to attack uh, not to draw men of God into issues but that video you made the last video you made today clearly shows you you are not you don't support Abel Damina now I don't I don't want to claim I love Abel Damina he can be anybody but I just want to close my eye and I don't want to see Abel Damina's face I want to listen to him I want to listen to him. I want to use this opportunity to also give the honest bunch, Nedu and the other group, uh, the other lady, two ladies there. Because that, that podcast was not biased. was not arranged. In fact, they pulled Abel Damina from every angle. And somehow the, the, the guy managed to wriggle himself out. Now, if because we are lost... In the old ways of the teachings of the Bible that you have to give for God to bless you back and all of that. And therefore, a new teaching is coming and therefore people are scared and therefore you don't want to listen to it and have a rethink of your old ways of uh, appreciating the Bible. For me, if it were not for Abel Damina, I had completely lost faith in the whole Bible thing. But for Abel Damina, I have, I have, uh, have a rethink. A new perspective to the Bible. Trust me. If my mind cues to somebody or endears to somebody it's because that person emits intelligent intelligence. And I don't claim to be too intelligent, but I know I have an IQ that is reliable. And I will not open my mind to sentiments or my mind to to petty uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh spiritual misdirection i want you see those who tell you that you cannot uh equate the things of spirit with your common sense that's like that that that, that that's a target to expose your mind to be used for fully to ridicule you to become foolish that podcast has made me to even love abel damina the more the more i loved in fact those two hours were the best two hours this year. I enjoyed every single minute because everything that man said appealed to my intelligence. So, if you want to continue with these deceptions of these men of God that are only interested in telling you fables and manipulated fables that results in, in you giving them your money, that's your choice. That, that's, your, that, that's really not my problem. But for a man that I respect so much as you saying that that for him to accept to be in a podcast is a, is a, it's an off for you and, and, and all the things you said about him. That, that's not true for me. For me, uh, Abel Damina is opening eyes. And, and I think God is using him to stop this deception in the body of Christ. God is using him. And I pray that God uses me to, to stop this nonsense, this charlatan, this rubbish. And I thought a man with great intelligence as you will see these things too and you you join the fight but for you to be stopping the people that are trying to open people's eye i think you should begin to reevaluate your whole idea of christianity well i don't mean to challenge you or i don't mean to fight you but i just just want to draw your attention to the fact that in in in, in appraising this spirituality one don't need to be biased. My name is Magnus Uraka. I say, please, follow this page and share this post now.